Hey everybody, welcome to the PowerCast Live every Tuesday night, 5 p.m. within a couple of minutes. Eric and I are here to share with you a very exciting program, just the two of us, very intimate tonight. Two of us getting together, maybe sharing some candy. I don't know what's going to happen yet. No, don't but, share it. I'm not sharing. <laughs> but, but what I'm going to tell you is we've had one hell of a year. And before we get into it, we want to make sure you're watching us live on YouTube, Team Power Team Powerhouse Real Estate, Instagram, Team Powerhouse Real Estate, Facebook, Team Powerhouse Real Estate. Every major platform you can think of, type in Team Powerhouse Real Estate, you're gonna find us. Google, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Anchor, Twitch, Twitter. Twitch. For all our gamers out there listening, you can also check us out on TikTok, Team Powers Real Estate, or Team Powerhouse. Yeah, South. do the TikTok one because we're almost at a thousand. We are at nine hundred and five people as of this morning, which is amazing. So exciting! If you're out there, you love TikTok, you want to watch us live on TikTok. We need to hit a thousand. We appreciate you guys watching all our fun and exciting videos. For the last couple of weeks, we've been doing a few different. Uh, TikTok videos. Um, we had an amazing guest last week on the show. We had Gra the Elf. We missed Eric last week, but Gra did an amazing job. Can I tell you something about that, Gra? Please tell me. He was one handsome fella. He was one handsome fella, and he had a lot to say. You know, he spoke more than Eric normally does, which is always very nice, too. He was very charming. He was very enthused. He was excited about the Christmas season. It's his job. It is his job. It definitely is. I get excited when we're talking about real estate. He gets excited when you talk about Christmas. That's very reasonable. And you know, I will tell you, it was, it was the first time I ever had an elf on the show. And I'm hoping that every year we have Brock come to visit us. Maybe we can get him a little earlier in the season to kind of see how things are going with Santa, maybe halfway through the year. Because Santa does have a list that he starts to pile up early on during the year. It doesn't just come up. It's already started. It's already started, right? right? I mean, New Year starts. You got to make sure you're doing things right by Santa's eyes and his ears. So if you're out there and you're listening, Remember Gra to be on a show in the future again. Um, had an amazing show. We had also that show with our friend Carolyn from Mixology Mixers. That was so much fun. She made some amazing drinks. Um, and uh, we loved having her on the show. But this year is going to be something very special for you. We may have some more guests we've seen before come back to the show. And some new guests as well. Um, first, what we want to do is we want to say thank you. So all of our team's past clients for this past year, you guys have been amazing. We had one hour a year at Team Powerhouse. We want to thank you so much, all of you, for your loyalty and trust to work with us. It means the world. We will always be here for you to take care of you when you're looking to buy or sell. And if anybody out there looking to buy or sell, please give us the opportunity. We promise you'll have an amazing experience. That is for sure. You'll learn a lot. We'll make sure that your experience is different than any other that you've seen before. Is that fair? You're going to learn more than you want to. You might learn more than you want to. Our job is to help make sure they understand what they're getting into whether they're buying or selling, right? Mm -hmm. um, we also want to make sure we thank all of you guys watching us all year long. The amount of viewers we've picked up all over the country and all over the world is blowing our minds. It's actually shocking. When we look at the statistics through the different social media platforms, it actually blows my mind as to what kind of following they have and where they're from and what their interests are. And we want to know if there's things you're interested in learning about or seeing or having on the show, please tell us. If you're a business out there, we'd love to have you. We want to help build your business out and up and, and get you more information. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to get my license in Peru so I can buy and sell hunts out there. Uh, you know, I don't know that market in real, real estate Peru, but it might be something that's worth looking into uh, in Absolutely. Argentina. And by the way, um, I was away last week, and we had a vacation with the family. We went on a cruise. Um, it was Argentina. Argentina. It was half the ship, I think, was from Argentina. No. It, it was an amazing ship, Norwegian. Uh, did an amazing job, as they always do. If you've ever been on a cruise before, haven't, I recommend getting on a cruise with your family or your best friends or your friends or your girlfriends or your boyfriends, wherever they are. Get on a cruise, have some fun, go away for a week. Have amazing food, great music, lots of excitement every day and every night. Um, it's just an amazing experience. The, the cruise line industry is 
such amazing offers being offered to you to go on vacation. Um, it's something that, you know, back in the day, when my wife and I went on a cruise maybe 20 years ago, the ships were much smaller. And today's ships are huge. I mean, huge. Uh, this, this ship had a racetrack on it. Um, it had a racetrack, a racetrack, like, a racetrack. like the kind you get in the car and ra race around uh, like a go-kart, like a go-kart, like they have a long for it at that racetrack, but it did like 50, 60 miles. It's unbelievable. That is in uh, fact a go-kart, David. Well, it's a go-kart with high speeds. Um, very cool stuff. This part of the show is sponsored by Norwegian. <laughs> <Yeah. Music. laughs> well, you can pick any ship you want to. I happen to like Norwegian for many reasons. One, it's affordable. And the, dis the specials that are out there is it's insane. All right, so on a cruise, I had a great time with the family. Um, but my point was that soccer game was the most electrifying soccer game I've ever seen. Not that I watch a whole lot of soccer to begin with. Did you happen to see the game? I did not. I did not. It was a game, if you're out there watching, it was mind-blowing. I saw the first half. It was 2 nothing Argentina. First, at the they, end of the they said that the chance of them coming back it hadn't happened in the 50s. France comes back and scores two goals, goes into overtime, then it's a double overtime. The same guy within Messi. a minute. Right. Hold on a second. Not right. Messi. Well, from, from France. Yeah. Yeah. Mbappe. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty unbelievable. I'm on this cruise and you don't know who people are, where they're from. There's from Canada, from France, Argentina, all over the world on this ship. Oh, my. Oklahoma, yeah. Connecticut. Connecticut. You know, you actually saw people from Cheshire? Huh? Another family from Cheshire. It's kind of funny. So, we're watching this on this huge screen on the Wait, boat. how do you pick them out? From Cheshire? Yeah. It's funny you say that. So, Danny's, uh, some, one of the guys walked up to Danny goes, you know, what are you, what are you lifting, blah, blah, blah. So, Danny says, I used to be, you know, powerlifting, and where you're from, and, and then it goes into, like, uh, he's from Cheshire, played football. And then the family to the left goes, I'm from Cheshire. It was crazy, you know, it's kind of funny, small right. world. Um, no, so they, weren't, they weren't like wearing this. No, not at all. As a matter of fact, his son went to Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. From Cheshire, someone to Notre Dame, then Dan, you know, Dan went to Xavier, the whole kind of conversation happened. Anyway, amazing, amazing soccer match. Um, great, great time. Anyway, uh, so to you viewers, going back to you guys, I got sidetracked. Thank you so much for being part of our show every year, every day, all year long. Um, this next coming year, I promise you, be very exciting. More than just babbling back and forth from you right now. Um, we also want to tell you that we appreciate not just the viewers, not just our clients, but the opportunity for more people in their business who have been on the show, those, those businesses who came on the show, to be a part of our show. We appreciate you guys too. Uh, it made a lot of fun for Eric and we learned a lot. Um, we learned a lot from a lot of new people and things we never knew about. And that's the beauty of this whole podcast. It's a learning experience for all of us. Not just doing a podcast, which you've never done before. It's about we're a year and a half into this for the first time doing this, right? So we're now getting hopefully better and better. Um, and hopefully our material is getting better and better. Um, you get to know us a little bit. Um, and hopefully you like us very much as you have been watching and commenting. Always remember to comment, reach out. Hopefully have someone on the backside of there paying attention to what's going on on Facebook and Instagram. If you guys are talking and reaching out. We apologize sometimes that there's a lack in our responding back to you in a timely manner um, as sometimes we are not getting the information to be able to answer those questions fast enough. All right. Um, I want to talk about the past year with Eric and I about what's happened this past year to start with because it's been a roller coaster of a year. If this has been any year of a roller coaster, this past year was a roller coaster like we've never seen before. We came in at 100 miles an hour. Okay, from January into the summer, it was like a continuation from what was going on the year before. Prop went in the market, boom, off the market. Multiple offers. It was insane. It didn't make a difference. People coming from all over the place to come to Connecticut, which is now and all over the country, the same kind of experience. Markets have gone up in value like we've never seen before. And it's something that was needed to be done at some point because. The markets had stayed so low for so long that they finally jumped up. And I want you all to know that these are the new prices. They're not going to come down. Maybe a few thousand dollars here and there. Sellers are becoming much more knowledgeable in how to price a house. You price it correctly, guess what happens? All of you buyers will notice that and you guys come running. And by doing that, it creates a very high stimulation in the market. 
We're also still short on inventory. We have much more than we had two years ago. But what I'm going to tell you is a couple of things in my predictions. First you have predictions? I have some predictions. I don't. Eric doesn't have predictions yet. But what I'm going to talk about is before we go to the predictions is the rates. So this past year, all of you saw the rates go from, I'll say, we actually started in the fours in January last year. Okay, maybe high threes, but low to mid fours for most of you based on credit. From January to about March, we're in the fours. Once we hit March to June, we are in the fives. That's a tremendous increase for most of this country to see that they haven't seen in years. And then we had from June until about October, it went from the sixes into the sevens, which is something that blew a lot of people out of the water in buying a house. Now, when I bought my first house, it was seven and seven eighths back in 2001. That was my, that was my rate. I didn't know any better. And my point is that when rates go up and rates go down, it's a normal thing to see in the big picture. But what I want to tell you is as the rates are higher, they're going to come down and settle down a little bit. And you're going to refinance. You should always, as a buyer, when you're looking to buy a house, look at what you can afford today, regardless of the rate is, how much money the house costs, what the rate is, it comes to a dollar amount that you can afford to spend. If that number works, beautiful. If it doesn't, either go lower or wait. Do not not buy a house because the rates are fluctuating. You can't time the market correctly. It's impossible. Just like buying a stock market. There's no way to time stocks. You buy long term, it's going to be higher and better in the long term. Real estate is the best investment you can make in your life long term. That's a fact. It's happened over the last hundred years. I'm not a genius by saying so. These are facts. And something you want to remember this very importantly. So as we're going through this new year, okay, rates are now in the mid sixes, I think. Yeah. All right. With rates in the mid sixes, here's what I see in the future. Number one. Between now and about March, you're going to see an influx of inventory as we come into what they call the spring market. Spring market means January 15th till about April. Boom, starts off the bat. Once you hit April, you're in spring. And then from April, is that right? April? From spring until about April till about June, you're gonna see a steady flow of properties. It'll be about a very steady amount and I think the hottest amount of properties and values is going to be the price between 300 and 500,000. That's going to be the sweet spot, of, sweet spot of properties coming in the market. You will, of course, have those properties that are going to be between five and eight, five and seven. They'll have a handful of come on the market. But the majority of homes that will come on the market this year will be in that three to five, I believe, ballpark, which is what most people are looking for today. Now, that being said, here's what's going to happen with I believe the rates are going to be. Those rates, actually, you know, let me take that back. Three to five is not going to be rates. Right. It's going to be actually more of three to six because that three to thousand, four thousand is really the first time a buyer for price range. Yeah. Three to four is about the first time buyer price range more or less nowadays. 250 is a very tough property to find at a value price range, right? Across mm -hmm. the board. So you're really between three and four. And then what's going to happen is you're going to need that five to eight ballpark. It's going to be the next element of value. Um, and a lot of props have gone to that value already. So, you're going to see a heavily, heavy amount of properties come on the market between now, or say not now, January 15th and about April 30th. From April to June, it's going to kind of steady. The market will stay steady. The rates, here's what's going to happen to the rates. Right now we're in the mid sixes. I see the rates going to come down a little bit. The rates are going to come down a little bit coming into January, February. And at the same time, we have a couple of things going on with government loans. The government has been offering to you many new programs out that involve money to help you buy a house. There are catches with this. It's important to understand what those catches are in speaking with your mortgage broker. The mortgage broker can help identify if you qualify for those mortgages and what it takes to get there. Pros and cons. You get something, you got to give something, right? That's like anything else. Yep. Um, but there are some definitely some things that are available to some buyers out there Ask your agents. You've got to call a realtor to find out what's going on. Do not use the internet as your source of knowledge. If you're on Zillow, Realtor.com, or Google, and you're trying to figure out what's going on, I can promise you, you have no idea what's really happening. Speak to a realtor. Build a relationship with your realtor. Your realtor is there to protect you and help educate you to give you the best experience possible. That's what we do. Eric, 
I mean, what, what are you chewing over there? I mean, you're killing me. If, if you guys remember the Halloween one, we had the sour candies. Oh, is that what that is? I'm just trying to get rid of them. I got two left. <laughs> All right. It's so good. So, Eric, tell me about your thoughts and feelings on the upcoming spring market. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm chewing, he asked me to answer a question. Um, I'm not going to give a prediction, but... Um, what are your thoughts and feelings? Um, I think Team Powerhouse itself has learned a lot this year. That is very true. And uh, we're going to take that knowledge and we're going to wallop 2023. Amen and hallelujah. Uh, we have a couple new agents joining our team, which we're going to make a big announcement for over the next couple of days. Our team is growing. So let's talk about that. What are we up to? I, mean, I don't want to give a number because I don't want to say the wrong answer. But <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> because we actually have two agents that just joined the team. Uh, you may have seen them in some videos and some photos. Um, but uh, we haven't officially, made it. unofficially, officially, unofficially, officially. We're going to make a full announcement. And they're amazing young ladies who just joined the team. Um, they're wonderful. They're full of fire. Um, and they're looking to build that relationship with you as well. We're going to get them on the podcast for you guys to meet them. Um, we're sitting down with a couple more agents. We'll clarify though, because new agents, they're not new to the business. They're new to us. That is true. They are not so, new to the business. They are new to us. Yes. Um, let's talk about that. If you're a realtor out there and you felt over the last six months to a year or longer that your business has not increased, you've hit the steady path of sales or seen a decline. Think about what has happened with you that made that happen. Is it the actual market? Is it what you're doing? Is it the place you're working in? This is a combination of things that kind of helps make you make a decision if you're in the right place and the right mind space where you are in being a real estate being a real estate agent. Maybe it's time to think about joining a team. Now, when considering a team, you should really do some searching and understanding because every team is different. I can tell you that from our experience and my team agents' experiences that we like to have fun and we work really hard. Work hard, play hard. What does a team leader bring to their team? What makes them special? And I will say to you that I hope that Eric would have something great to say about that. <laughs> Put it on the spot. Uh, what would you say is important for a team leader to be uh, in order to make a team successful? Um, well, every good leader, whether it's a team leader in real estate or any other, um, any other endeavor. Yes. Um, motivator. Okay. Educator and coach. And educating and coaching are two different things. True. I'm not going to get into the definition of them. Um, but, um, and support, you know, and um, you do that to a degree. Thank you, buddy. So, no, nothing crazy. <laughs> nothing crazy. No, he's there. He's there when you need him. Sometimes he's not when, when you need him, but. Really? He'll get, <laughs> he'll get you the answer somehow, some way. Uh, how would you say I am as far as a motivation, motivator to the team? I'm putting him on the spot in front of all of America. Hopefully it's not too bad of an answer. Not all of America, just 900. <laughs> yeah. 900 what is it? 905 of them. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Um, how are you as what now? How am I, would you say, perceived as a motivator to our team? Oh, you're definitely a motivator. Uh, you don't let, we don't let anyone fail. Don't let anyone feel like they're failing. Um, and feel like they're going to fail. 100%. Just, it's just, yeah, okay, so you didn't have a good week. You didn't have a good month. Right. You're going to have a great month next month. That's right. And you're going to have, you're going to finish 2022 strong. That's right. It's the only way to, that's the only approach you can take to it. 100%. How about coaching? Or How about coaching? Point? Well, you know, when the quarterback goes, oh, wait, wait wrong business. <laughs> wrong business. Um, no, coaching is, is, um, giving your two cents, whether welcome or otherwise, you know, it's true. Um, and, uh, correcting an approach, maybe, you know, saying, Hey, maybe you want, you want to try this instead, right. you know, um, it's, it's in their hands to take, you know, 
uh, to take it or, or to not take it or to modify it. You know, you've given me, you've given me advice that I've taken some of, I've taken all of, or I've taken none of, you know, that's probably the stuff that I've not taken that's led to my many downfalls. <laughs> no, it's, uh, by it, the way, let me just, not everybody, not, you know, not everybody, not everybody makes the first, makes the right choice when they choose what they're going to do and what they're not going to do. And then, you know, they'll try it. And if it works, they're like, oh, okay, it worked. Absolutely. You know? And if it doesn't work, then it's like, okay, okay, it didn't work. Right. Okay. Agreed. Definitely agree. Um, when it comes to educating, I Wait, think... Wait, I think you were just about to say something really, really nice about me. I don't remember what it was. It was actually something very special about us. Point to me as he was talking. One of the best parts of this team, I'm going to say it to you, is Eric Vasquez. And what he brings to our team as my, I don't know how many what words I can use without getting emotional. Level one tech support. Level one tech support. He's, he's very knowledgeable. He's got a great personality. And he helps bring this team together and you as a part of a family. Our team is a family. At the end of the day, we are a family together. We work hard. We play hard. We have fun together. We learn from each other. And I still learn every day. You know, there's not a day that goes by in this business, no matter how much experience you have in this business. Seven, over, over 17 years in this business, okay? And I still learn things, and I'm shocked by what we hear sometimes. Yeah, I won't say every day. Not I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put something out there. If there's an agent who says, I haven't learned anything new in the last month, right. year, right. two years, three years, then they're not a good agent. Or they're not doing anything. It's impossible. Yeah. Especially what we've seen the last two years. Forever learning. But it's it's not it's not stuff that we didn't already know or some variation of something that we didn't know. It's it's ever changing. Yes. You know? So it's definitely ever changing between what kind of mortgages are happening, the people's dispositions, buyers and sellers, what's going on in the back of their minds. It's a big mind game. This is like playing cards. It's a little bit of playing cards to being a realtor, right? There's strategy involved, there's knowledge, knowledge, and there's also experience. And the more experience you have behind you is going to help anybody else in front of them. I always tell every agent who comes to our team, I say, listen, I've made so many mistakes for the last 17 years. And my job is to help make sure that you don't make those same mistakes. And if I can do that for you, then guess what's going to happen? You're going to be more successful much faster, and you're going to make a lot more money much faster than anybody else who comes in this industry. It's a fact. And, and that means that, that my job is to protect, protect my team, protect our team and make sure they're successful. You know, again, this is a team that is filled with fire, energy, love, funniness. Great mix of personalities. Great mix of personalities. And as you're beginning to see this, as we get out there and uh, make a little bit of an ass of ourselves sometimes, it's okay. We're having fun doing it. We want to see you laughing. We want to see you enjoy things. We want to keep your spirits up and positive. Know that we're just like you, but our job in the real life is to be your realtor and to take good care of you and to know we always have your back. Speaking of these team members, you got to get someone along to the show. Well, I can promise you that these new agents will be on the show, number one. And number two, what we're going to do is try and get at least at least one agent of our team on the, on the show every month. Very important. And with that being said, maybe more often because they bring a lot to the table, their personalities, their knowledge, and even the ones who are not as knowledgeable, when they sit down with us over here, they really bring a lot of knowledge and experience in conversation about what you should be looking for and what you don't know and what you need to learn about as an agent or as a buyer and seller. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so, you know, going back into what's going to happen in this upcoming year, 2023, it's going to be an amazing year. If you're looking to sell a house, do not fear that you missed the market. It might not be something where you have 400 offers in your house, but I can promise you, if your house has done a couple of things to it, A, number one, been prepared to get on the market. That means you've cleaned professionally, you've updated, you've done some painting, you've gotten rid of furniture that you've been 
sitting in that house that shouldn't be there anymore that you probably went to high school or college with or was passed down to a, from a family member. When family members pass on furniture, it's very nice to them. But if you have a house that later on you want to show, it doesn't always maybe give that house a look that it should look for. Like grandma's got dining room table, which was so nice of them to give to you, may make the house or the kitchen or the dining room look much older, is what we're trying to say. Especially if the table's big and you have a small dining room. That's a good point. Sometimes you have furniture that has floral design on it, which may be the most comfortable couch you've ever had before. But you're in a house with a very contemporary look. It may make the room look a little wonky. Oh, we got wonky in for the last time. <laughs> sure. It may look a little bit wonky in that photo, which what happens is it throws buyers off. So it's very important to stage a house. Maybe bring in the young ladies from uh, Perfect Staging. Perfect Staging. Right? Uh, I have to pull their information up. They were, by the way, we had them on the, um, we did the thank you with them on the last podcast with Raw. Mm -hmm. Great girls. Um, that picture perfect staging is, if I'm going to remember the name correctly. Um, so, but the point is, you want to get your house ready to sell. Paint, lighting, make sure your house is bright, light colors. It's got to have a great feel to people when they walk in the house. Don't take your personal opinions of what you think your house should look like and how you loved your things as to be the way it should look. Um, I was talking to some people recently. And I said, listen, you have a light fixture in your dining room that really doesn't belong in this dining room. To change a light fixture, it might be a couple hundred bucks. You'd be amazed at how different your dining room looks with a different light fixture for a couple hundred bucks. It makes a world of difference on camera and bringing more people to your house. There's lots of little things we can do. And at Cole Baker, our company that we work for, they have a program called Revitalize. An amazing program for you as a seller to help update your house and get it ready for sale, not taking one penny out of your pocket. It's an amazing program. We can talk about more in person with you. Maybe we'll get Jen back on the show, talk about the Revitalize program this upcoming year so people can know more about it. Amazing program. Um, so anyway, getting your homes to the market, getting ready for sale, this is the time to do it. We are you December have, 20. You only have one first impression. That's a very good point. One first impression. Only one first impression. I can't tell you how many how many times I've walked into a, a house with folks and within the first 15, 20 seconds, you know where it's going. Yes. You know they're not going to spend much time in that house. You know it. People get turned off very easily. You have ne not been a buyer in a long time and you haven't seen how people identify your home for sale. And it gets very, you get very frustrated when you're selling a house and people don't give you the information or description of your house that you want to hear. So your realtor's job when they walk in that house is to be very brutally honest with you as a seller to help get you the most money for your house as possible. A good realtor will do that. A realtor who walks to your house and tells your house looks great, everything's perfect, is probably <clears throat> full of SHIT. They probably just want the listing. And later on, when things aren't working out correctly, then they start to ask to make changes. But then it's too late. Am I right? More often than not. Listen, when it comes to buying a house and you're a buyer, you want an agent who's going to look through those photos, through those properties that look like unattractive to you in the computer and help you identify what's good about those properties. Um, the reality is most of us as buyers, when you're out there looking, you're swiping. Talk about swiping before, huh? Swipe, <laughs> swipe, swipe, next. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have about three seconds to get a buyer's attention in order for them to be putting a heart on your property to go look at it. If they've gone through the first few photos and it doesn't look like something they're interested in, swipe out. Next. They swipe left, not swipe right. What's that? I don't know what the swipes are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, our show tonight it's welcoming in the 2023 new year. This weekend is New Year's. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? It's quick. This weekend is New Year's. A lot of things are going to happen this weekend. You're probably going to have a party, go to dinner, be with friends and family. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Be smart. Uber, Lyft, do the right thing. Don't be foolish. Let's make sure we can see you again in the future. You're on the PowerCast. We want to build a 
hear about the exciting news and the fun things you did. Enjoy yourselves. Maybe you're going to go to a football game this weekend. Maybe you're going to see the Giants play the Colts and pray for a warm Sunday and no snow or cold weather. Are you going to the game? <laughs> I'm going to the game. Okay. One of Danny's hot I hope it's so cold. <laughs> One one of the things that Danny wanted for Hanukkah was to go to see the Giants this year in a cold game winter time. So six six months ago in July, I bought tickets. Right, in six months in advance for this Sunday's game to surprise him, and all he did was for the last three months was at school. Dad, I want to go to a Giants game. Dad, I want to go to a Giants game. I go, Danny, enough with the Giants game. And then before he came, I'm like, Danny, I got the tickets for you six months ago. You know, so I'm excited to take our son to Danny. Well, to before you knew about this polar vortex. That, that <laughs> but it's, it's pretty much gone now. Do you know what's funny? Uh, so I told Danny, I said, I'm praying for a warm weather weekend. He goes, Dad, it's going to be the 50s. I go, don't even lie to me. I'm praying for a 50 degree weather day on Sunday. In Ruther- Rutherford? R- Rutherford. Rutherford. East Rutherford, Rutherford New East Jersey. Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, and I'm hoping the Giants win this weekend. It's 50. Well, here it's going to be 53. Is that right? Yep. And it's, you're going to be south, so it's going to be a little bit warmer. That would be amazing. For me, I'll be psyched. No rain, hopefully, too, because I think it might rain. It's, it's, it does indicate a little bit of rain. But anyway, I want to wish you, from Eric and I, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. We appreciate you. We love you. You are everything to us. I want to wish you a very, very happy new year. We are excited to see you in the new year. With some exciting new guests, there's going to be some very highs and some lows with the guests we have on the show. What I mean by that, it, it might get a little emotional this upcoming year with who we have on the show. There's going to be a little bit of a um, sensitive issues we're going to talk about. Things that are kind of be something to relate to. This is all new to me. So Yeah, there's some, there's some guests that are coming on that you we've never had before uh, that will be definitely very intimate. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, Eric... TikTok, come on. Sign up on TikTok. We actually have a TikTok coming out. Uh, I understand. Sometimes we, we have a TikTok. <laughs> we? There's a TikTok coming out this evening. If it hasn't come out yet, stay tuned for it. It'll be very interesting to see what you think. Again, no more importantly, I want to wish you a very, very, very happy new year. Stay safe. Be surrounded by friends and family, loved ones. Eric? Safe and healthy new year. Happy New Year, buddy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. We love you, and we want to thank you so much. Now, let's get to the next part of the show where we give a free tumbler away. And do not forget to reach out to us so we can send you that tumbler. Let's see who's going to be the next winner of the tumbler, the final tumbler of 2020. The year. I don't know what it called. The Rowland's glasses. I'm not sure. You have to show it to me. We have a winner yet there, Amanda and Jonathan. Uh, Diane Flattery. Diane Flattery, F-L-A-H-E-R-T-Y. From Diane, Diane Flattery. 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 Uh, that being said, follow us, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, everywhere you can. YouTube, most importantly, on top of everything else. Watch it now. Watch it later. Spotify. Listen to Right Home. We can't wait to be with you again next year. Have a wonderful evening. Yeah.